morning everyone this month's vlog is going to look a little different because this time i wanted to talk to you about appointments and just best practices and tips and things like that so that they're always stress free and you get the most out of them and um, so as i have an appointment today i thought i would take you along with me so we're now about to leave the appointment that i've got today is my annual appointment with my consultant so the hospital that we have to go to, we have to drive to the train station, hop on the train, get a bus, <laughs> um, and then we'll be there. So I'll take you along, as I said, for the journey. And along the way, I thought I would share some top tips. Just parked up about to get on the train, and I thought I'd share my first uh, tip when it comes to appointments, is especially if it's important ones, I think that it's always good to bring somebody with you. So I have Frank with me today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just because sometimes the appointments can be a bit of an information download and it's always just good, I think, to have somebody else there with you that's listening and that you can talk it through with afterwards and um, just for the support, I guess, really. finished and my appointment now and we're just back at the bus stop waiting to get the bus to the train station and another top tip that I want to share with you um, is we always leave in plenty of time so our train and bus and that that we got here actually got us to the hospital about 20 minutes early well the train actually got in at about 40 minutes early but it's just handy then to give yourself time to travel and if you need any toilet breaks and just so you're not really stressed because that's the worst thing I found when you've got an appointment due at a certain time and you're cutting it really thin and you're running around really stressing. So I'd always advise that you make sure you leave yourself enough time to get there. So I'm now back home and I just want to share with you the last of the tips that I found useful when I have appointments. So another one is that I always think that it's helpful to write down or make notes on one like symptoms or just things that you've had going on that you think are worth mentioning to your MS nurse or neurologist because even if it's something little sometimes I found that I go there and they'll be like oh has has anything like changed over since we last saw you or is there anything you want to talk about and sometimes when you're there and then in the moment it's hard to remember what it is that you were thinking of so I think it's always handy like throughout the time in between your appointments. So like I said, if, the, if anything pops into your head, like any questions or anything that seems different with your body or with yourself to make a note of it so that when you go to the appointments, you can make the most out of them. Because I guess like it's easy to just go to the appointment and sit there and be like, nope, yeah, like everything's fine, da da da. Because I've done that myself before. And then you end up coming away and thinking, oh, well, actually, I wanted to mention this, or actually, I had a question about this. And so that's why I find that it is helpful if you make a note of, like I said, one, any symptoms or anything that's concerned you since your last appointment. And also, like, another thing, questions, because you might as well make the most of the time that you have there with them, where you have their full undivided attention. So definitely make a note of any questions that you have for people. The MS Trust as well have actually got a page on appointments and they go through sort of top tips like I've shared today on how to get the most out of your appointments and things. So if you're interested in reading a little more about it, then head over to the MS Trust website and search for the appointments page. But yeah, I guess they're uh, really the sort of, for me, the top three things that I really try to focus on. Um, taking someone with me when it's an important appointment, making sure I've got enough time, that's probably the biggest one, <laughs> and making sure that I sort of have in my head or have a list of stuff that I want to talk about or any questions that I've got. So on that note, I'll end the video now and I'll speak to you all soon.